Hello! Welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily show on Facebook, where we show you one cool thing, which we are testing out in the PC Mag Labs. I'm Sasha Segan, this is Joel Sano Domingo. We have Social Pete over on the con, as usual, taking your comments, questions, answers, trolls, anything that you care to put in the comments field. Of course, Joel is our expert on desktops and laptops, can answer any of your questions about desktops and laptops. I know something about phones and tablets. Can't say I know everything, but I know things. more than some people, less than a few other people, but I'm, you know, plenty. Um, but the device that we have today to talk about is what exactly? Good morning. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga second generation. Thank you. I got that out in one piece. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. So, um, so this is a ThinkPad, is and a now. ThinkPad. Um, what makes this le like? Let's let's take apart the name. The parts of the name right. here, I think, are relevant. What does each part signify in terms of the features of this laptop? Well, Lenovo ThinkPad. It is a standard business notebook, but it is an X1, so it's uh -huh. thinner and lighter. Okay. And it is a Yoga, which means that it's got the dual hinges on it. It will swivel around. And it is a convertible laptop. So it goes all the way it back. Goes all the way back. It can be a tablet. It can be a tablet. Now, does it does it go into does it have a tablet mode? It yep. does have a tablet mode. And one neat thing about this guy, as opposed to some of the other convertible laptops we've seen, this guy comes with a stylus. Ah. Yep. Okay. So so tell me a little about the stylus technology here. Now I know Lenovo had to deal with Ntrig for pressure sensitive styluses. Right. Yep, and it is very, very effective. It pops out, and one of the great, great things about this stylus is it does not require batteries. It's mm. going to be kind of hard to see here, but it does have contacts on it, so it recharges right when you plug it back in. So Lenovo stylus versus Surface Pen. Yes. This one's a little thinner. Uh-huh. It is... So you will have to get used to it if you're used to a chunkier stylus. Uh -huh. um, but again, you don't have to you don't have to charge it. You don't have to put a uh, disposable battery in it. Um, it doesn't have the uh, shortcut button on top, but uh -huh. it does have two buttons on the side for erase and for right click. And it it works really really well. It's uh, it's very responsive. We liked it. It recharges very fast. Okay, so now now you're drawing on that screen, mm -hmm. so we can talk about the screen. It's a touch yep. screen. It What's touch the screen. technology and resolution? It is an LCD screen, uh, a standard IPS screen. Um, it is full HD. You can get an OLED screen, which is brighter, has br uh, richer colors, and that would will come with uh, 2560 by 1440 resolution. And does that still come with a pen? That still comes with the pen. But it's more expensive. But it's more, of course it's more expensive. Okay, okay. And, and this model, by the way, that we're looking at is, uh, starts at $1,682. It, right. looks at, it looks like, but this being a business laptop, of course, you can spec it down, you can spec it up. It could be $1,500, it could be $4,000. Right. This guy is the $1,800, mm -hmm. uh, 1838 uh, configuration, 8 gigs, Core i5, 256 gig SSD. Pretty standard for business laptops these days. Okay, let's start taking some questions. Does it have to be a Core i5? Can you go up from there? You can go up to, <clears throat> excuse me, can you can go up to a Core i7 if you need the extra power. And um, stay tuned, we're going to have the OLED version soon, and that has a Core i7 in it. Nice, nice. Okay, so so uh, mm -hmm. let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at, of course, the keyboard, the trackpad, the ports, because mm -hmm. these are always Lenovo strengths. Yep, they are. And one of the neat things, you, I don't know if, if you, you saw that. Put it in that. table tent mode. That way you'll oh, show off the keyboard. I will. Yeah. Um, one of the neat things about uh, ThinkPad Yoga is it's got the uh, res recessed keyboard. So when you switch the keyboard past 190 <gasps> degrees, it actually slides into the body. It retracts. It retracts. So that way, when you're holding it, you have a nice flat surface. Oh, that's cool. Or if you put it on your desk, your keys won't pop off when you nice. put it on the edge of the desk if you're, say, dragging it this way. If I did this with a traditional convertible laptop, the key caps would have just popped off onto the floor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we also have the traditional track point. Uh -huh. ThinkPad users won't be able to use their computers without these. Uh, separate mouse buttons for that track point, a one-piece touchpad, 
and then the wonderful Lenovo ThinkPad keyboard. Fingerprint scanner over here, right? Fingerprint scanner over here, and speaking of fingerprints, it does take up fingerprints really well. Yeah, one thing I noticed before we put the show on was I said to, I said to Joel, how long have you been using this as your primary laptop? Because the, the, the matte back of it was very, very fingerprinted. It is, it does take fingerprints really well, even more so than some of the other uh, ThinkPads that we've seen lately. Now, is this the only finish for it? This is the only finish for it, I believe. Okay, okay. So let's let's go around, let's talk about some of these ports, then we'll get to your question. Yep. There actually may be a silver, but let, okay. let's, uh, uh, you'd have to read my review to find out. Um, over on the side, we have the uh, Thunderbolt USB-C ports. Both of them can be used for charging. Two USB 3 ports. <clears throat> then over here we have the power button, a headset jack, hey! Uh, two, a, um, not two, a, U another USB C, uh, 3 port mm -hmm. for a total of three, HDMI, Kensington lock. And what the heck is that? And that is a mini Ethernet jack. So Wait, that's not a standard? It is for ThinkPads. Um, you can get it. it they couldn't fit a full-size RJ45 on this thing. Mm -hmm. So you have a dongle, it comes with it, so you will still have wired connectivity, it just, you have to carry another thing with you. Yeah, so, so and, and at that point, like, I wonder, like, you know, if you're gonna live the dongle life, why not just use USB-C, you know? Um, you could, but this does have USB 3, so you do have backwards compatibility, HDMI, all no, that No, 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 what I mean is for the Ethernet. Oh, for the Ethernet, yes. Yeah, you, why you, is there an extra Ethernet port that is not an Ethernet port? Because they've been shipping them for years, so you, you probably have, your IT guy probably has a drawer for it. Ah, uh, there you go. Let's take some questions. How long does it, uh, the battery last if you're gaming or video editing? If you're gaming or video editing, the, we got a 11-hour uh, battery life uh, d using our standard rundown test. Our round, rundown test is playing a video locally, so it does last longer than, say, gaming or video editing. That would probably be a few hours less. Now, let's, let's put our standard asterisk on this as we do with every time we bring a business laptop on this show. This is not a gaming laptop. Right? It is not a gaming laptop. It's it's sufficient for 3D. It's sufficient for business 3D. Uh huh. But you pay, play anything that's more strenuous than say Minecraft. You're going to start doing. Intel integrated graphics. It's Intel, right? It's Intel integrated. You you're not being paid to play games unless mm -hmm. you're being paid to play, play games, and then you're not going to be getting one of these. You're going to be getting something with from Alienware or HP Omen or something. Okay, okay. So now you said, though, that the, the battery life was one of the minuses. It you was. This, right? it, 11 is actually not too shabby if you're coming for an old laptop that only lasts five or six hours yeah. or three hours. But there are other laptops like the Dell 5285 2-in-1 mm -hmm. that last 14 and a half. And mm -hmm. then, the, of course, the uh, Microsoft Surface Book last 19. Now, what about what about in the Lenovo lineup? Like, if you're if you're addicted to the Lenovo keyboard, right? Is there, dare I say, a more practical solution than this one? There was the T470, which we looked at last week, uh -huh. and that is a more practical solution for people who really need battery power. We got upwards of 18 hours on that laptop, I believe, mm -hmm. and it has a a removable battery, which oh, means that okay. you're pretty much unlimited. Yeah, so you can have. swap in new batteries as often as you want. Absolutely. This one is a thinner and lighter laptop, mm -hmm. so it does not have a removable battery. Mm -hmm. And it, doesn't al it also does not have the dock on the bottom like the T470 did. Um, if you need that sort of connectivity, mm -hmm. you, want to, you still want that traditional laptop. Uh, let's take a question. Getting a couple of gaming questions, um, what type of pro um, GPU is in there, and how recent of games do you think it could run? It's got the uh, integrated uh, 620 in it, the uh, Intel HD 620. Um, it's going to be decent for really old, really old games. I mean, you know, Doom 3 will play fine on this thing. Um, we review a lot of gaming laptops on this show. <laughs> Get one of them. I couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, but, yeah, know. yeah. We just had we just had the HP Omen 17 on, yep. what was it, yesterday? yesterday the day before? I believe. Yeah, yeah the, we just had the HP Omen 17 on. We were just talking about gaming laptops. Gaming laptops are a thing, people. And if you need to game, get one. Yep. But they will sell, sell many, many more of these, I'm sure, actually. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, a lot of executives out there, of course, swear by their X1 Carbons. Yep. Um, 
do you think they need to go up to this? Mm -hmm. Is the yoga factor a gimmick? Is the yoga factor actually useful? The yoga factor is useful. I would say that this would be great for a middle manager, upper middle manager, mm -hmm. um, someone who is just under the SVP level, mm -hmm. because you're going to be doing a lot of presentations mm -hmm. at that level. And what this thing is great for, it is great for doing, you know, a three, four person presentation. Yeah. Uh, put it on the screen, swipe left, swipe left, uh, swipe right mm -hmm. for uh, for your PowerPoint presentations. Uh, you want to demonstrate how your website looks to your colleagues, mm -hmm. do it on this. There you go, there you go. Uh, let's take another question. Did you mention if there's a fingerprint scanner on this one? There is a fingerprint scanner. It mm -hmm. is fully Windows Hello compatible. So there's, a, there's, there's also, of course, a webcam at the top. There's a webcam, yeah. but it is not IR. So okay. you need the IR camera for facial recognition. So it doesn't do Windows Hello with your face. Right, but it will do it with your fingerprint, which is more industry standard anyway for, for businesses. A lot of businesses will actually yeah. delete the camera. Yeah. Oh, okay. yes. And I, I mm -hmm. forgot back here, since this is a tablet-like device, mm -hmm. there is actually a port back for micro SD and a SIM card, uh, SIM card slot. Um, this has an LTE modem in it? it do, this one does not, oh. but you can get one. Okay, so you can get an LTE-enabled version. Correct. And that's that's actually pretty cool for Road Warriors. Oh, it is, absolutely. Like this, this is a Road Warrior machine. I feel like you don't hear a lot about LTE-enabled laptops anymore. I feel like they, it was a big deal three or four years ago, even. It was a huge deal three or four years ago. There's Wi-Fi everywhere. There's public Wi-Fi everywhere. Um, that's where many of customers are going to probably get use uh, the internet. Mm -hmm. um, LTE is big in Europe. It's big in Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, not as big in the U.S. Now, what's the what's the built-in storage here? The storage is 256 gig SSD. So I wanted to point out that with that micro SD slot, mm -hmm. you can get another 256 gig Absolutely. micro SD card. Pop it in there, and then you have your two you have two 256 drives. Right. You do, it's going to be slower, of course, than the PCIe uh, built-in SSD, but you, ha you can pop out um, storage and pop in another one if, if you have a micro SD in your camera. Okay, okay. Uh, let's take another question. So you mentioned potentially adding an LTE modem. How much would that cost? Um, it would probably be a couple hundred bucks. Um, you'd have to check on uh, Lenovo's website because it changes all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but you would want to do that probably when you first buy the system because while it is IT serviceable, mm -hmm. you don't want to be doing this yourself yeah, unless you're yeah. really handy or if you're a former IT person. Yeah, but there, there definitely is something to be said for a laptop where you turn it on, you're always connected. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Any more questions? Oh, it looks like we got some more questions. Can you recap price for people recap to just join price. us? Uh, it starts at 1682. Mm -hmm. This is the 1838 configuration. Mm -hmm. It's got a Core i5. It's got eight gigs of memory, 256 SSD, integrated graphics. Okay, and it goes up to it goes your heart's up to, desire. Up to your heart's desire. <laughs> uh, you know, SSDs keep going. Uh, uh -huh. Core i7, OLED screen. Uh, which we touched on before. Stay tuned for that. We will have the OLED version of this in the coming weeks. I am looking forward to the review of the OLED version. I think that's going to be, in terms of a prestige laptop oh, for business use, that's going to be something people will really be looking you for. You know, this one looks really good, but um, I've got the OLED version on my mm -hmm. desk, and it's kind of eye-searing, actually. Oh, so nice. Another question out there. Is there a SIM card slot? Yes, there's a SIM card slot in the back. Um, this particular model does not have an LTE modem, but you can get one when you configure it on Lenovo's website. So that means that means that on this particular model, yes, you can put a SIM card in, and that SIM card will then not do anything. Right. You can. It's a holder. <laughs> it's a SIM card holder. <laughs> right. Exactly for your spare SIM card. That's right. How you know? thoughtful. Hey, there you go. Okay, great. Any more questions out there? Terrific. Well, our review of the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga second generation is up on PCMag.com. It's three and a half stars. What is our editor's choice in business laptops? Our editor's choice is an HP Spectre X360 13-inch, and okay. it has a 4K screen um, and a couple of other features that put it a little bit ahead of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, thank you all for watching. 
Uh, this has been One Cool Thing with PCMag.com. We will be back at 10 a.m. tomorrow with another cool thing from the PCMag Labs.